Hi, and welcome to this section of the Matrix Algebra Tutor. And the title of this section is called Matrix Inverses, or another way to say that is how to find the inverse of a matrix, okay? Uh, I don't know about you, but when I first learned this, the word inverse really scared me, really worried me, and, and made me feel like this was going to be a really hard thing to do. And I won't lie to you, it can be a little bit tedious, but it's not hard, it's especially just to understand the concept of what a matrix inverse is. It's, it's not hard. Well, let me ask you a question. What do you think the word inverse means, just in everyday language? The inverse of something is something else. I mean, roughly speaking, everyone's going to have their own little definition, but inverse is, is kind of like the opposite of something. It's, it's sort of like the other side of something, the inverse. Whatever else you haven't done that's left over, that's kind of like the inverse, okay? And we'll see that when we find the inverse of a matrix, it's a rough translation, but it roughly means the opposite matrix, sort of, and you'll see why that's the case. But the good news is, is that you actually already know what the inverse of something is mathematically already. You probably just either forgot or were never really told explicitly, but you already know what this is. For instance, a long time ago, you probably may not remember this, but you actually learned what's called uh, the multiplicative inverse, and that actually sounds scary even, even by itself. But let me show you how a big word like multiplicative inverse um, is really actually simple. And so when we get to the matrix inverses, you'll see that that's not so hard either, okay? So recall back from, oh, I don't even know, 7th or 8th grade, I'm not even sure where, but uh, the multiplicative inverse, and this is just done here to give you a little background motivation, so when we get to the matrix inverses, it won't seem so hard. The multiplicative inverse of, and you know me, I like to talk, teach by example, so I'm not going to give you a giant definition. The multiplicative inverse of, let's say, the number 5. There's a number. What's the multiplicative inverse of that? Is 1 fifth. Okay? And the reason is because and this is really the definition of what the inverse means because 5 times 1 fifth is equal to 1. Okay? That's something you should know. 5 times 1 fifth is equal to 1. Okay? That is the definition of a multiplicative inverse. It's basically just if you take a number, you try to find out what, what other number um, exists such that when you multiply it by the first one you started with, you get the number 1. Okay? That's, that's really all a multiplicative inverse is. And you'll see this is going to be directly extended to matrices here in a second. So some more examples. The multiplicative inverse of the number 3 is 1 third because when you multiply these things together, you get 1. Okay? So this number here is called the inverse of the number 3, the multiplicative inverse of the number 3. Another example, just to deal with numbers because I like dealing with numbers, multiplicative inverse of the number 2. Okay, what number can you multiply by negative 2 to give you a positive 1? Well, you have to multiply by negative 1 half. Right? Negative times negative gives you positive, and so you'll get a 1. So this number is the inverse. So, so far, so good. So, so far, so good. I've tried to hopefully break down that barrier. The inverse concept is really not hard. It's just you take a number, and in this case, we'll actually be taking a matrix here in just a second. We're going to try to find another matrix. Um, such that when you multiply them together, you're not really going to get the number 1, but you'll see it's going to look very similar. You're going to get something with a bunch of 1's in it, okay? And that's what, that's what it is. But that is called the multiplicative inverse, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about matrix inverses, okay? So here's the definition, and we'll get to some problems. The inverse, okay, that's a definition, so I'm going to un underline it, of a matrix, 